بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Islam as a faith as a religion as a way of life rejects all any and all forms of extremism and Islam rejects terror and terrorism no matter what the media propagates no matter what you've read no matter what you've heard and that's why it becomes imperative for people active in the Muslim community to become more active in making clear the truth of Islam that we do not believe in bombing nightclubs as a deviant individual has recently done. We do not believe in bombing churches and bombing mosques and harming people. And this has no precedence in the divine text of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is why, due to more recent events and the phenomena of extremism that seems to be on the rise around the world, why it becomes more important for us to denounce this and deplore and have enmity towards those people who try to taint the religion of Islam by slandering the faith and misrepresenting the faith of Islam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And so I urge the people to look more deeply into the Islamic faith and know that this deviance of extremism is only the work of deviance. And this is why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us laws and set an example and set a precedence for us as a community on how we should interact with others who have a different faith, who have a different way of life, or a different creed, or what have you. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Beware of extremism. And this symbolizes the methodology and the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah, meaning the pious predecessors, those people who preceded us in righteousness. And that's why when you hear the term Salafi or Salafiyah, you should never be afraid. Know that they are the farthest people from terror and terrorism. Although the media in the East and the West both misrepresent Salafiyah and both claims that or both make the claim that Salafia is a deviant form or strain of Islam and that Salafia calls and urges violence and extremism or that Salafia and its adherents are extremists and all of this is false. And that's why it becomes imperative for us to make the record straight. I myself am Salafi, and I am very happy and proud to form my creed and my methodology in understanding Islam from the sources of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't hang our heads in shame about that. We're not ashamed to say that and to say that we follow the pious predecessors because they were in the forefront of Islam and they were away from terrorism and they deal with, dealt with extremism even in their time. They denounced it, they fought against it, and they deplored it. And this is what we do today. So take a further look into Islam and understand that the Muslims around the world majority of the Muslims, 
by far deplore terror and terrorism and extremism and extreme acts and violence. And everyone wishes for stability in their society and societies around the world in order that they may educate their children, in order that they may have a family, and in order that they may do the simple and basic things in life. And this only comes with security. This only comes with stability. It only comes with peacefulness. And truly, if we as Muslims and non-Muslims really look at Islam for what it really is, according to the Quran, and according to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we'll see that Islam promotes peace. Islam deplores extremism. Islam gives you the just balance. It gives you, it has a concept about just war theory. It has a concept about peace and reconciliation. It has a prescription and a paradigm for everything in life in totality. And its foundation, al-Islam, is the Islam, to seek peace. It's the Islam lillah, bi to seek peace with Allah, the Lord of the worlds, by worshiping Him and Him alone. It's the Islam lillah, bi to wal inqiyad lahu, and adhering to His commands. And Allah does not accept the evil or evil deeds and evil actions of what, like what we see and what we witness around the world for people who claim to represent Islam or to represent some form of Islam, which in fact, they only represent themselves and their deviance. Allah, Allah is not pleased with this. And this is what the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us all to be a source of guidance. And may Allah forgive us of our sins and bless us with al nafir and al-Muttaqabilin. And we welcome you to learn more about Islam. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi wa Sallam.